Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a Microsoft Store error on your Windows computer. And this error code is 0x80073d0a. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would do would be to open up the Start menu, type in Services. Best match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down this list and locate the Windows Defender Firewall service and double click on that. Make sure startup type is set to automatic and it's running. If not, set it to automatic and then start the service. And then select apply and OK to save the change if you needed to make any modifications. Another thing we're going to go ahead and do here is going to entail opening up the start menu. Type in WS Reset. Best match should come back with WS Reset here. Go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here and it should relaunch the Microsoft or Windows Store. And hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem at this point. If you are still experiencing an issue, you can attempt to open up the Start menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best match should come back with troubleshoot settings, so go ahead and left click on that. Scroll down underneath Get Up and Running and select underneath all the way down your Windows Store apps, troubleshoot problems and may prevent Windows Store apps from working properly. Go ahead and left click on that and then select Run the Troubleshooter. So if it suggests anything, I'd recommend following along with it here, and then just go ahead and select Next just to finish the process here. So we already have reset the Windows Store, that's why we didn't reset it again, which is why the second option here says not fixed. And we also didn't sign in with Microsoft account, which is why the first one wasn't fixed. But in your case, if you completed both of these, it shouldn't be a big deal and everything should be back up and running. If you are still experiencing an issue, you can try opening up the Start menu. Type in CMD, best match, should come back with Command Prompt. Right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one here. It starts with PowerShell. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Left click on edit. And then left click on paste to paste it in. And we're going to be just running the first command here. And then hit enter. So even though it looks like it only pasted in the first part, when I paste it in, the entire first command starts with PowerShell and ends with manifest. It only registered the first section and then it signed this into the PowerShell and then it started running the second part of the first command. So hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem as well. Another thing you can try here would be to run a system file integrity scan. So just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. I will have this in the description of the video as well. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take some time to run. Your computer should restart once you're done. So you should close out of any open programs and applications. Restart your computer once the scan is complete. And that should hopefully be about it. So we're just going to let this thing run here for a couple minutes.
Okay, so Windows Resource Protection not find any integrity violations. So like I said, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully I should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.